You demanded it, so here it is. My recipe for homemade barbecue sauce, along with a bonus recipe for oven barbecued wings. The simple, sweet, spicy homemade sauce is addicting and irresistible and creates a finger-licking good sticky glaze on your wings or whatever meat you're using. As the main dish, you can serve these wings with fried rice, potato salad, macaroni pie, regular salad or oven fries. The ingredients I'm using today are some of the basics I always have in my fridge or pantry. Green seasoning, minced garlic, onion, ketchup, honey, paprika, mustard powder, cumin, then there's molasses, brown sugar, and orange juice. And that's all you need to make a fabulous barbecue sauce. First thing I do is to cook some hot pepper or a slice of hot pepper and some oil. When that's brown, I add the green seasoning, garlic, chopped onion, and a little more pepper. And let it cook for about a minute or two. We're doing this to infuse the oil with all that goodness and delicious flavors. Next, we'll add a cup of ketchup, and we're going to cook that for a minute more. Then a quarter cup of honey goes in, along with a quarter cup of brown sugar. This is what makes it sweet and sticky, so everybody calm down. Stir it well to combine and cook for another minute. Now it's time to add the dried spices. These spices will add a smokiness and will just turn the volume way up on those flavors, leaving your guests or your family guessing as to what in the world you added to this barbecue sauce. I've actually had guests pack up the extra barbecue sauce after some of my parties. Now we'll add the molasses. And as a child, we ate a snack called tulum. Well, tulum was made with molasses. And if you're one of those folks who didn't like tulum, well rest assured, this barbecue sauce does not taste like tulum. There's just a hint of molasses blending along with all the other flavors. Next up, we'll add the orange juice to thin out the barbecue sauce and give it even more flavor. This is just one variation of my barbecue sauce. Next, we're going to add a shot of vinegar. Stir it well, bring to a boil over medium heat. Continue to boil and stir frequently until the sauce is reduced and thickened about 10 minutes. Did not add salt and black pepper, but you may certainly add those ingredients if you wish. Give it a taste and if you're still tasting the individual ingredients, then you need to boil it longer. Let's prepare some chicken so we can use up some of that delicious sauce. Remove any fine feathers and yellow film from the chicken. Cut off the tips. Next, cut the wings at the joint to separate it into two pieces. Thoroughly wash and drain the chicken. Season with green seasoning, salt, and freshly ground black pepper. Stir it well to combine and marinate it in the refrigerator up to two hours or overnight. When ready to cook, place the wings in a single layer without overlapping in a large parchment covered roasting pan or sheet pan. Drizzle with oil and place in a preheated oven or put it under the broiler on the top shelf. Bake or broil until the chicken wings are browned about 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the wings from the oven and discarding any excess liquid or fat from the pan and brush evenly with barbecue sauce. Flip and brush the other side. Return it to the oven under the broiler and cook until browned, charred or glazed, five to eight minutes for the broiler and longer if you're not using the broiler. If your heart so desires, you can brush more barbecue sauce on the wings after removing it from the oven. 